All right, Hell boys. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back. Time to fucking. Oh, that's. <laughs> Welcome back to bullshit part forty-four. <laughs> I'm here again. Caleb is returned. Caleb has resurrected from the COVID, yes. even though he never got it. I never had it. He was just being safe. Mm-hmm. Dude, mm-hmm. I. Caleb missed it, but this sword is fucking awesome. It just is. Look it looks it. really cool. So. Is this going to be the first death of the game? Beep, where boop, I'm just going to have to go the other way. Okay, the other way. That look looks... at that very climbable surface right there. Wee. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> we went over this to get it. Why don't you simply go in the other direction? <laughs> the other direction? No, I want to kill myself. Water. Uh, yeah, cool. Wow, that's oh, a lot of health. health. Okay, then. Oh, 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 oh. Sim. Oh. Oh, oh, what the fuck. Okay. Nice backflip there. Ooh. Yeah, go back to that spot you're at where you climbed up. I would have been able to climb that in Assassin's Creed. Oh, Good for fucking you. I know. Yay. This ain't Assassin's Creed. Climb the pole. This is oh. Assassin's Creed project. The pole. Oh. Except they removed pole climbing completely. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, it was too gay. Yeah, it was way too gay, dude. I think free running peaked in uh, in Mirror's Edge. Uh, Mirror's Edge had pretty good free, free running. Three, four, and Unity. Unity was actually peak free running. I think Unity was peak free running for the Assassin's Creed franchise. I, well, I, because they added a lot of new system. I the actual because they actually fixed a lot of the like problems with the. Uh, the other games with free running and such. I've been mm-hmm. pretty adam. I've been pretty open about my criticisms of Assassin's Creed. Uh, um, oh, on the I think on this channel we've talked about it multiple times. Uh, oh yeah, especially during this series. Yeah, but like I, for me personally, I I honestly do not like the direction it's taking. I think you're supposed to go the other way. I think the core of Assassin's Creed is supposed to be. Well, you're an assassin. You have the best training in the world, and you're that supposed to be too. a badass. Mm-hmm. I don't think level-based combat and more RPG elements are are needed for Assassin's Creed to be fresh. I feel like Ubisoft is putting that in all of their games now. I don't know what you're talking about. It's so fun being level 30 and getting attacked by a level 90 mercenary that shouldn't even Assassin's be in this Creed area. Oh yeah, well, I actually started Valhalla too. Assassin's Creed has never struck me as a... As level-based damage, it's always been timing, like in the Ezio and and three and four. Oh God, not this part. <laughs> oh, is this the I, part that you were talking about? This is the. the I, I, uh, well, oh, that's right. Do I have to it, cut, it, climb it up? Is this yeah, Valhalla, mm-hmm. Josh. We, did, we didn't even very, show I hate you this massive part. battles that you can get into. I fucked it up every. Is it, like is I wasn't really talking about on his profile that was causing to miss something. Okay, can I? Okay, I think I know what it is. Well, yeah, they're difficult mercenaries. I don't know Rip. what you expected. I, if you're that expecting to literally part. start the game, uh, run to a... Enemy-type enemy variety. Like how no! in the Ezio trilogy, if there was a no! third villain, you'd have to, you have to do <laughs> Don't worry, I haven't seen this to, Yeah, you have to do that in Valhalla. You, you didn't even see... Yeah, but they were still people. They weren't like gods and... like I know gods are in it, but you would never... You fought the common... Soldiers and, and everything. Yeah, you do that. There's shield people. There's like 15 different I, types of enemies, and you have to fight them each differently, I or else I, you simply I guess can't I'm win. Talking more about like the where Origins took it, like that kind of direction was really weird for the franchise. It was weird for the franchise. I enjoyed it, but that's mainly I because I works. actually really I, I like mythology. Works. I don't think shooting multiple air like if you shoot a guy w- without a helmet on and you shoot him with an arrow. I don't oh think- well, yeah, that's I- that's BS. Valhalla fixed that. Arrows are like basically one hit kill now. You can decapitate somebody with an arrow in Valhalla. Yeah, you oh, can. Oh Jesus! Yeah, that's right. Oh shit! Uh, I was. But no, there's some- many enemies in Valhalla that purposely adapt to what you're doing. Yeah. So if you're just spamming attack, 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 what they'll do, parry, parry, parry. They'll just keep doing that when they learn. So you have to physically counter them or catch them off guard mm-hmm. or throw them off a ledge or else you're not going to kill them. There's multiple people like that. There's 
the harder ones that I faced, Ooh. I think they're called Bannermen or something. Oh, yeah. They have a giant banner that has a spear at the end, and they Ooh. do large sweeping attacks, so you have to dodge in the right direction or else you're, you're got by them. Yeah. It, from what I've seen in the newer Assassin's Creed... But the newer Assassin's Creed <laughs> stuff is, is like, it, the combat is really kind of floaty. Like, like they're, like they're very, there's Light. not a lot of weight behind their well, movements, at least from what I've seen. Like, Odyssey gave that it feel. Origins did not. Origins, I felt like I was grounded. Yeah. Um, Valhalla, I feel like I'm grounded. Well, you played the Ezio games, right? I, I've, Scene two. I've played Brotherhood and Revelations. The Ezio games felt like like it was like the stakes were high and you didn't have much uh, like in the way of it was just training and skill that Ezio had instead yeah. of like magical artifacts like an Odyssey and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I mean. Well, I, it, it, I know magical artifacts are kind of important to Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah, I, I was about to say, the you're complaining kind of about magical artifacts, and, but it. yet you get this little ball that speaks to you. Come on, Josh. <laughs> no, no, you get... In the Ezio trilogy, yes, you get the Apple of Eden, but, like, at the end game, like, it, it works its way into the I mean, story. In, you don't just use it in In Unity, combat, you get the same thing. You played Unity, right? Yeah. Yeah, at the end, at the end, you get the no because it works for the story. Like yeah, you get the sword of Eden. Yeah, yeah. So like every game in Assassin's Creed that I know of, you eventually get an artifact weapon. Mm. Eventually, you do somehow. If you haven't played like all the way through the answer, yeah, yay! 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 Yes, I, guess, though, I think those are Save the point? staple of the franchise. Nope, not nope. for a while. Okay, what's over here? So don't fuck up. I want to try the Assassin's Creed Water. games, but I want to start with the first one. That's probably going to take me a while to get to the newest. Oh, one. You're, oh yeah. You're going to be going through like nine games, I think. I, th I think once you get used to how the, the first one plays, it's actually really fun. But then they switch it in two oh, slightly. Shit. That's oh, two switch. It became that's better. Yeah. Two was way better than the first one. They, so they switch it in two, and then... Brotherhood's next because they're like, fuck it, we're not gonna put next. What the <laughs> fuck that? <laughs> they're like, you hey. swung and just moved off of the cliff. Okay, oh, good. Oh, thank God. Thank you, game. Well, like, Auto save. That is like very generous. The whole yeah. thing is, uh, in my opinion, yeah, Odyssey way. completely Odyssey. Ru ruined like what it should be because oh, Origins actually felt like an Assassin's Creed despite the level based combat being shit on it. Odyssey ruined it because it wasn't the people who should be making it. It was a completely different... <laughs> Whoa, what the heck is going on? Ah! It was a completely different studio, and they just basically... <laughs> what? <did> it... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what, the... what is this? <laughs> what even? You just does something weird ass shit. They basically made you like a Greek god or a demigod. And it that just didn't feel organic. It, 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 you were a descendant of it, Leonidas. Like after, yeah. After Unity, it, the the Assassin's Creed games. I haven't played Syndicate, but they, Syndicate they, was fun. They started feeling like 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 the assassins ain't shit. Yeah. Like like they they slowly kind of well, deviated from that. Well, like, the whole thing. Which they call it the the Layla Hassan trilogy, which is Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla. And with Valhalla, that's the end of that trilogy. Yeah. They're going to start another okay. lineage okay. of it. So, Origins, I think Odyssey, and Valhalla. You have to understand these are all progenitors yeah. to the actual Assassin Order yeah. because the Assassin Order was established during the. First Crusade, according yeah, to like, lore. Like what you find in Assassin's Creed Altair 2. Altair is one of the first. The, the, Kick, oh, like, yeah, Altair, yeah, 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 yeah. the other guys from the different lands. Yeah, yeah all the, the people all the before... The, okay, all the people you see before... Um, what's their names? Bayek and Aya, technically. Bayek, so you, by the way... Bayek I've is listen, amazing. I've listened to the or, the Origins soundtrack, and oh it's my a, it's god, amazing. it's amazing. It's amazing. Bayek and, of Siwa, that, that track is... Fantastic. No, the voice actor for Bayek 
is legendary. I, I got I got to I, yeah, I have like, all of them. I got to play through. Um, I got them like on a uh, humble bundle sale. Guys, but, um, by the time we play an Assassin's Creed game, we're gonna have nothing to talk about. At this <laughs> rate. I, no, trust me. There's it's an interesting a lot. topic. There's a lot to talk about, just lore wise. But I'm, I'm not allowed to talk because two people here have not finished. I haven't even played it, Valhalla. so. So I'm gonna not do any spoilers for their sake. Okay. I'll get Valhalla on sale, maybe. But um. Yeah, but, I might too. Less than half price. But back to the conversation point. Or Origins, Odyssey, Valhalla. They're before the Assassins. Oh wait! Oh shit! Oh, what? Oh, she took his previous sword. Mm hmm. Oh! Oops. She's dead. Why would you care about her? Oh shit! She, she took your Ooh. shit, fam. Ah! ah! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Did you see that? Ah! ah! Oh, blood. Yep. Reach your other hand up. Okay, if you guys don't remember... Sand dagger. Sand dagger. If you guys don't remember, Kakalukium was the word that uh, her mother used to make her feel safe when she was frightened as a child. Oh. They explained that. Caleb wasn't here for that, but they yeah. explained that in the earlier, when they were alone. Sands of time. It's out of sand. It is now bound with your blood. Ooh. About to wreck some shit. <gasps> Yeah, sure. So, like I was saying, those three games are supposed to, like... <laughs> oh my god, right back into it. Yeah, <laughs> it was cutscene time. So, cutscene the, time. The, those three games are supposed to outline how the assassins formed and how the what you know is the Templars formed. So, I'm just going to tell you, before they were called the assassins and Templars, they were called the Hidden Ones, and then they were called the Order of the Ancients. Yeah. Um, they explain all some of that in Valhalla. They explain some of that in Odyssey. They explain the hidden ones in oh, Origins. Shit. Hence, Origins. Being so, the origin or of everything. Ah, so the block. The thing you have to understand about those ah. three games, they're purposely put as pregenitors. Yeah. No, stop. Don't yeah. come back. Story wise. Story wise. My main criticisms of the Assassin's Creed games is the direction they've recently taken to turn it into a full-blown RPG. I, mean, I don't know if it's, like... it's. They keep saying RPG. They, they keep saying that, but I like the big world that you yeah. can be in. I, well, I, yeah, like, I love... Screen is known for open world. Yeah. I love that. Like, tr but, trust me, for Valhalla, all the maps on there are gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Like, how fast skill trees is my is one of my biggest pet peeves in... in gaming. Well, like when you put a skill tree in a game for no fucking reason. Well, I, I like that the, they made a skill web. Ah, I'm getting, okay, I'm getting <laughs> locked. They're just constantly a a jumping on you. All God, it is is like, plus me. two attack, plus two assassin it's, it's damage. Just, it's not, now, Origins and Odyssey, it's like, that was kind of dumb, because it was like, oh, you get this very specific skill, go. like, you get to do a new okay. move or something. You don't Get that in. They have it Valhalla. in Valhalla. You have to find the book in order yeah. to learn the skill. You don't unlock it through some. Yeah. Like, you actually have to explore well, to find new skills, which I think I, that's. I liked parry timing and stuff. Like, and stuff. I know that's still in there. But yeah, like, you're rewarded if you parry for. right in an in Ezio game, you kill him. And it looks sick. And it always made me feel like such a badass. Well, it's not like these people are unskilled. Or anything when they're fighting. Like, yeah, but well, I so <laughs> why why the skill tree? Because in the, I I keep pointing back to the Ezio trilogy yeah. because it's like my staple for the series. But throughout the game, you naturally Ezio naturally learned more moves and gained more equipment naturally through the course of the story. I just wish they went back to that instead of earn a skill point, put it in this sh shitty skill tree. You gotta find and new weapons, did. just randomly. Oh, man, I should just rename this Assassin's yeah. Creed Assassin's review. Creed just never struck me as a full-blown RPG. It had RPG elements in it, but... This is some cheese? The story always made what he learned make sense. Yeah. 
Like, I like that natural progression. Watch this. Wow! Because you feel like you're very involved with the character. Because you're learning these just as he's learning them and stuff, so... Ivor has hey. some of oh, that. Shit. Yeah, I mean, Not a whole lot, though. Yeah. <laughs> the game just crashes right there. The last but vortex. I, I don't know about Alexios. Yeah, uh, it's pretty much all cutscenes from here. Uh, sort of. Oh? Okay. Do you okay, want then. to save the game? Well, no. Where are we at? Like, well, it's probably like at ninety percent or ninety-nine. It says ninety-five. That was the now, last save. I'll start the story from here next time. Bravely I had fought and slain my enemies. Honor and glory were mine. But though I fight until the desert sands themselves were red with blood, I could not bring back the dead. 